If I could give you something that would make you feel wonderful, would you take it? Although it's definitely habit-forming, it's not a drug, has no known side effects, and its benefits will last your entire lifetime. It's listening to classical music. Listening to classical music has given me more pleasure than anything else I could name in my life. Period. End of sentence. I grew up in Philadelphia. My mother was a fabulous pianist. And so there was music, it seemed like 24 hours a day in our house. My mother started both my brother and me on the piano. But the viola became my major instrument. When I was a senior in high school, my mother developed cancer. I would sit on her bed and talk to her and I said, <clears throat> I really want to go to music school, Mom. And she said, it's a terrible life, George. It is so frustrating. I, I've never felt like I was able to achieve what I wanted to as a classical pianist. And I don't think you should do it. And I just kept pushing it. One conversation after another, and she finally relented and said, okay, all right, go to music school, but promise me, you won't marry another classical musician. You'll both be poor together. But the truth is, from the time I was a child, I had dreamt of becoming a conductor. George Marin Lamal was the first music director of the New Jersey Youth Symphony, which is celebrating our 45th anniversary. Over 18 years of his music directorship, he took the orchestra to Europe four separate times and also performed on the stage of the famed Carnegie Hall three times. So I auditioned and I got in and I think I must have been like 17 or something. He's one of those musicians that his love for music is so palpable. It's like when you're a kid, it's so important to play music with someone who just emits this, this joy and this love of music. I don't know how to describe it, but it really just makes, makes a difference to a kid. He was very jovial. He would um, crack jokes. So he was able to work us and critique us and get us to do what he wanted. And we still enjoyed doing it. We would be laughing, but we would be learning at the same time. He had an excellent knack of teaching us how to do something while we enjoyed it simultaneously. It was an enormous pleasure to see these kids growing as musicians, accomplishing more. I did find it very satisfying to be working with these young people. And it was hard for me to make the decision to leave the orchestra. I needed to devote myself to another part of myself. And that, of course, was the creation of the Discovery Orchestra. I'm George Mariner Mole, Artistic Director of the Discovery Orchestra, where we believe that the more detail we notice in music, the more pleasure we can receive from listening to it. For years, classical music has always been just that you go out on stage and you bow and you play. That's how it was in the 50s and 60s and 70s. One of the things that comes across a lot in the Discovery Orchestra concerts is a desire to make listening to music less intimidating to people who don't listen to classical music a lot or at all, and also to give them the skills to, to not be afraid to listen. All movements written in sonata form have a first theme, which is, of course... <laughs> yeah, this is the theme known round the world. Tell it to me again. <laughs> There's a lot of audience involvement. There's a complete desire, and, and he's able to achieve this, of breaking down barriers of what classical music is to some people. Is something funny? <laughs> okay, so how many times did the pattern occur? Zero, right. Some of you may have noticed that was not the same piece of music. 
He is simply a man of music. He became a fine viola player uh, and an orchestral musician, played in some of the great orchestras of this land under many of the greatest conductors. And he learned an awful lot from them. And I think the more he conducted, the more he played, the more he wanted his audiences to understand what it was about. I'm delighted that we're giving this award to George because of his lifelong commitment as an educator and bringing classical music into the living rooms of a broad audience, but also for his commitment to NJYS and the number of people whose lives he's transformed and have become musicians as a result of their relationship with him. I'm George Mariner Moore for the Discovery Orchestra, reminding you to listen better. <laughs>